Hello friends. When we buy a drill press, one of our main purposes is to be able to get perfectly straight holes, perfectly aligned 90 degree holes with the piece we're going to uh, drill into. The bit we have in our drill is the x-axis and it should be in 90 degrees with the y-axis, that is this one. And also it should be in 90 degrees with the z-axis, which is this one. Now, these drill presses bring a table that we can move. We can move it in this direction. Okay? So we can adjust the y-axis, the angle in the y-axis. But we can't move it in this other direction. So we can't fix the z-axis. Regretfully, some of these drill presses aren't perfectly aligned on the z-axis. So there's no way we can fix that. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you the two methods I have to verify if the bit is perfectly aligned both on the Y and the Z axis. The first method is verifying the alignment with a square. But we don't use a bit to do that. What we will use is a bar, a stainless steel bar in this case, I took it off an old printer. The bar is very straight. And we put it in, in the chuck as if it was a, a bit. Tighten it well. Then we put the square against it to verify if there's any deviation. We put it on the y-axis and we put it on the z-axis. In this case, we can see that there's a significant deviation up here. And that means we have a crooked hole. Now, if we look at it on this other position, we'll see here that there's no deviation with the square. But we also must measure it on the other side. And here we can see that down there there's an enormous deviation between the square and the bit. And that means that the table is deformed. It's square here, but here it's, it's higher. Hmm? This table has not been made correctly. And there's nothing we can do about that. We can't lift this part up because then it won't be square on this side. We'll have to find a solution, a cowboy solution. Hmm. With this method of verifying, when we're working with, with small drilling bits, we have to use a very small square to verify the alignment of the bit. But the thing is, the smaller the square, the less precise will be our measurement. Because it's just looking at with our eyes. And it's more difficult there to see any deviation. The second method I have for verifying the alignment of the bit is making some holes, a pair of holes in a bit of wood. And the holes must be separated inside the distance of my square. One hole here and one hole here. And I'm going to make one hole first on this side. Then I turn the wood around and I make the hole on the other side. Let's do it and see the result. I clean the holes a bit. And then I put inside each one of the holes a bar right to the end. There. Hmm. This bar reflects 
the angle that the hole has inside the wood. I do the same on the other side all the way through and we have two bars representing the angles of the holes and if we remember well this hole I made in one direction and the other hole I made in another direction. If I put my square perfectly stuck on parallel to this bar on the other bar we can see there's a space at the bottom and that space at the bottom shows us there's a deviation in the angle of the bit. If we change down to the other side we'll see that the deviation is at the top. This gives us the deviation for the z-axis. If we want to know the deviation for the y-axis we have to make the hole in this position then turn the wood and make the other hole there. Are these deviations really important? In most do-it-yourself jobs with short holes probably this is no issue. But with very long holes and those that require a perfect fit this can ruin the job. Can we solve this? I believe the only way to solve this is fixing a flat piece of steel sheet onto the table with the appropriate slant to get both the z-axis and the y-axis to 90 degrees. If you have a better idea, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to know your solution. My next video will be this solution with a sheet of steel. By the way, the next time I go to buy a drill press, I'm sure I'm going to take my iron bar and my square to make sure they don't fool me. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please remember, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, and leave the comment below if you have a better idea than I do. Hmm? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.